Hello friends, we are coming to the end of the first chapter of culture and anarchy and that is sweetness and, and light, beauty and reason, isn't it? So perfection according to Matthew is a unity of sweetness and light. He who works for sweetness works for light. He who works for light works for sweetness. But both reason and will of God, if those people who are working for both together, they uh, make reason and will of God prevail. That's the difference. Working for missionary, it will, it will only cause hatred and confusion. Confusion. Culture looks beyond missionary. It's a passion. It's a passion for sweetness and light. And also, there is a greater passion. That greater passion is making them prevail. Make all human beings perfect. You should not leave out anyone, inferior classes. The raw and the unkindled masses should be touched with sweetness and light. The basis should be broad, the broad base, as many as possible, the whole society. That will be the happy moments of society. That will be the happy moments of society. Happy moments for humanity or the sweetness and light and also the will of God. That's the flowering time for Arnold literature. All the creative power of all geniuses will be unleashed. See that? These are predictions by, a kind of prediction no? by Matthew Arnold. Matthew Arnold. Seeks to do away with classes, but culture. Culture doesn't have any ready-made answers or ready-made judgments or any watchword. You cannot, there's no shortcut, see. Make the best and the make the best that is known and thought everywhere. Not only in England, but the whole world. There should be the aroma, the sweet smell of culture and light everywhere. Atmosphere of sweetness and light should prevail. That is the true position. And he says that there are, sometimes what happens, you know, there will be some people, say one-sided, say people, they propagate religious ideas or say ordinary uh, literature. It's, you can say below a standard uh, ordinary popular literature. Or some people they spend, they spread political issues of politics. That is sectarianism, you can say. But in culture, there is no sectarianism. Culture and the view is omni, omni, just as we say, no, omnipresent, omniscient, like that we say, omnipresent, omnipotent, we speak about God, no? omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent, like that. Sweetness and light should be omnipresent, it should be everywhere. Not one particular group, a sect. Say, for example, the politi politics do that. Politicians do that. Religious people do that. Or ordinary, say, Joel, you know, ordinary popular literature do that. It's, they want some followers like that. It's not like this. He gives names of three persons. One is Abelard in the Middle Ages. Abelard. Abelard in the Middle Ages. Then the other in the last end of the last century you have one Lessing in Germany. Lessing and Hardy in Germany. They are 
true apostles of culture. Because when people hear their name, their hearts filled with reverence and enthusiasm, work powerfully for diffusing sweetness and light. Understand? And so, make the will of God prevail. That is, will of God prevail. The reason and will of God. This is the summary of sweetness and light. Coming to the end of it. So all what you need to do is, don't trust in machinery. Because that will create only confusion. And this confusion and hatred. Then don't be sectarian. Self politics, religion, and ordinary popular literature, don't be like that. And don't be don't leave your brethren behind. Unkind, unkindled and raw. Don't don't resist the spread of sweetness and light. The happiest moment of human race will be when everybody, everybody, everybody come, comes to know as well as put this practice, put in the practice or live according to the best that is known and thought. If you are a true apostle of culture, then you will have a world view, not a narrow view of a state or a country. There are such people abandoned during the Middle Ages. Lessing, end of the last century, in Germany, also Hardy. Says when people hear their names, their minds are filled with enthusiasm and reverence. Sometimes when we here in India, when we hear the name of Mahatma Gandhi, our heart is filled with reverence and enthusiasm because he stood for certain principles. Really like that. So you have got that or when you have President Lincoln. So you have that. Nelson Mandela, you know, they, they stood for something. And what is their culture? Spreading sweetness and light. Not only just sweetness and light, but also making it prevail throughout the world. So you have got a world vision. And this chapter ends with a long quotation from St. Augustine have taken this part of it and uh, that quotation I will write on the board because probably that sums up the end of discussion on sweetness and light. And the quotation runs like that, I have taken only middle, not the beginning and the end. Let the children of thy spirit placed in their firmament, that is, let the children of thy spirit placed in the firmament, firmament. Then the children of, children of thy spirit placed in the firmament. Make their light shine upon the earth. Make their light shine upon the earth. Upon the earth, let the children of the spirit place in their firmament. Make their light shine upon the earth. Mark the division of night and day. Mark 
the division of night and day night and day so this is the question so it tells everything all the points of our discuss let the children of thy spirit those children who spent time and their energy and their effort for spreading sweetness and light they are placed in the firmament means high above the sky that means higher level make their light shine upon the earth and terror not just england or america or africa or india or china or japan and things like vietnam and so on. not that there is shine upon earth like the sun and the moon and the stars understand so that much power make their life mark the division of night and day that is thomas som jodir gimaya at the end it is that at the end what is culture that is thomas som jodir gimaya from darkness to light and that is culture once you absorb that light and spread it and share it with others and make it prevail Thus prevail the will of God, sympathy, love, kindness to your brethren. There you have culture. Otherwise, no. So summing up, we can say this quotation is very important. See, we say at the end of at the end of a course, when the students depart from their alma mater, the head of the department or the principal can tell them this. Let the children of thy spirit placed in this college, firmament, firmament, make their light shine upon earth and mark the division of night and day. Mark the division of light, light, night and day means let them show to the world what is ignorance and what is knowledge. I told you now, if you read this essay. you have got plenty of general knowledge good quotations with which you can as bacon says study self for delight for all nomen and for ability so this is it will help self for all nomen also <laughs> also ability understand so you must read this we have for our chapters they are very simple doing as one likes then we are the division of society into into barbarians and the middle class philistines and the populace and then hebraism and the hellenism good ideas very good concepts see when you read you know this you will see you can you can assess the people who came after how they looked at the world that's it for example for example we say in the postmodern thinking we say we are fractured being fractured we are fractured being i shall show you fear in a handful of dust this is it <laughs> that is the situation so you can see why what is the reason for all this So now we have seen, or do that to sum up this uh, the main chapter is over. I think you have been following me very good. First we saw sweetness and light, motives for culture. Point one motives. You remember scientific passion, scientific passion, and then. you have moral passion that is motives what is the second point that we discuss is how culture coincides with religion 
कल्चर एंड रिलीजन कल्चर एंड रिलीजन दिस इज चैप्टर वन ओनली है कल्चर एंड रिलीजन कल्चर इज ब्रॉड बेस कल्चर इन कल्चर यू हैव ऑल द ह्यूमन वॉइसेस हेल्प बट इन रिलीजन यू हैव गोट एनी पार्ट्स दैट्स इट अंडरस्टैंड एंड देन थर्ड इज दैट दैट too much faith in too much faith or trust in machinery is slavery bonding <coughs> sorry bonding you will never grow you won't have happy moments in life yes for this we have seen a critic of critic of religion especially puritanism we have seen what religion has done it has built city like london full of squalor and filth why because religion is corrupt as and you have got the oxford movement fifth the oxford movement and that is for a deterrent a deterrent to middle class liberalism leading to anarchy the movement failed that we saw said the movement failed but the current remains as a result of that new forces like democratic forces came up So in that way, this is success. And also, we saw an attack on Jacobinism. Jacobinism is because they have got fierce hatred for the past. Although they are hoping for a for building a society based on rationality, but what of that? First, they have this dark. So go on. Understand? And the last today we saw. true apostles of who are the true apostles of culture who are the two true apostles of culture who are they abelard lessing and then and benjamin frank so we have seen some people i am gandhi and you can think about mahatma gandhi nelson mandela and you can also person lincoln see Person Kennedy to an extent, or yes, he is also. So this, all these great leaders like him, like uh, uh, the author of Tirukkal, then the author of uh, Bhagavad Gita, so this, like that. So they are all true apostles of culture because they had a world view. What is the world view? That everybody lives in an atmosphere of happiness, an atmosphere uh, where there is no confusion, where there is no hatred, where there is no superstition. No, like our our uh, Guruji Tagore, that's what it. Where the mind is free. So all the geniuses can unleash their power. And make the will of God prevail. And then that is culture, perfection. Not relative perfection, but hundred percent. Hope that you have been following me. And this is the concluding part of chapter one, sweetness and light. Uh, we will continue with this when we get time. The major part is over. When we have time, we will continue with this. Till then, bye. Have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am posting videos like this. And I have, I have got, a, I have started another series that is especially meant for children. But anybody can. So those who are doing IELTS. 
or a TOEFL and so on, useful for them. If you have time, you can go through online tutorials on English grammar. Already, I think I have done eight, eight tutorial classes I have taken. More will follow. So, it will be useful for you. And remember, this is on an absolutely free platform. Why don't you share? You can share it with your friends if you like. And if you, can, if you have got friends, children, your children, your brothers, your sisters, children, or your younger brothers and, and sisters, your friends, children, you can share with them. See whether my tutorials are okay. If you have got any difficulty still following, I am making it as simple as possible because I find, I imagine that these children are sitting in front of me. In front of me. Presently, I have done completed A and N indefinite articles. Now, I am uh, doing the other compatibility. It's very easy, you probably remember these points which I said, okay. And therefore, I invite you cordially to subscribe to my channel. So, till then, bye. Have a nice day.